it, it's a second brain that you can talk to. I've asked GTP maybe five questions just before I wrote this script anyway, and I already think that it should know me a little bit better. So this is the thing, you're already surrounded by AI. You just open YouTube and you're essentially saying to YouTube, hey, it's 5 p.m. and I feel like being entertained, and it's giving you all these suggestions based on what it knows about you, based on its AI algorithm. AI is fine as long as every time we use it, we remember that it's just a tool. And the thing is, every time I open YouTube, it suggests me stuff and often I've scrolled through hundreds of videos before I've really found something that I fancy watching. It's not that accurate then, is it? And it also frustratingly picks up on signals that I don't really mean to send, like the incessant curiosity clickbait. I honestly, I'll watch about three seconds of these curiosity clickbait titles, often vertical video or something like that, and uh, I realize I've been clickbaited and I'm fine with that, but for some reason that's in my feed the next day. I mean, I've left that video really, really quickly, but for some reason YouTube algorithm actually thinks seem to quite like that, just because I spent a few moments before I realized, oh, this is rubbish, and went off it. So every now and then I have to go through and I have to train YouTube's algorithm, and I just go not interested, not interested, not interested on all the kind of rubbish and clickbaity nonsense that it suggests to me. And that's a really strong signal, so that kind of human input of, no, I've said, I'm not interested in this. That's a really strong signal to not feed me that kind of lowest common denominator nonsense. But soon, really soon, Google is gonna be more like your personal assistant. Not just to book you stuff, not just to set you reminders, but actually to know your preferences, know the stuff you like and dislike, and know what you know and don't know. And it's going to answer specific questions for you with incredibly high degrees of accuracy. And not just by finding you parts of videos, for instance, that'll answer your question, but by actually generating generating content for you specifically tailored to your needs and your use cases, which you'll have learned over a long period of time. Very soon, you'll have a video chatbot for every question that you could think to ask it. And this is the future of this second brain idea. This is the future of personal knowledge management. An actual AI chatbot that you train, you choose what content to ingest, and you highlight bits that are important to you, and therefore it starts to learn what's important to you and applicable to your own context. It'll be a second brain that you can talk to. And this is something that companies are already using. I've always marveled about how knowledge loss occurs in schools. When people move on, there's often things that they looked after or things that they knew that leave with them. And whoever takes on that responsibility has to start again from scratch. And there's already products that seek to do this, that seek to manage knowledge for companies. For instance, Stack Overflow and Guru offer kind of AI question and answer capture. Although it doesn't seem as automatic as this chat GTP, which is why everyone's so impressed by it. In other words, those software systems, you sort of have to teach it question and answer, and it will go out and find answers to specific questions. So it's a bit like a FAQ database, which can just get a bit more specific. When you type in questions, it can match you up the closest question to it. If you think about the way that uh, Tiago Forte in his excellent book tells you to manage your second brain, putting it into these para headings and going ahead and putting everything into the same folders, no matter what device you're on, so you know how to access things quickly, well actually, a chat DTP, an AI, will actually do that for you. It will organize that information into a second brain in yeah, a way that you could tell it to and control, and you could have some control over the way that it organizes that stuff, but inherently it will be very, very good at retrieving information which is important to you But whenever it asks the question. You might ask it something like, oh, find me some relevant quotes from that book I read the other day. <laughs> you might ask it, or oh, find me some relevant quotes from Supporting Teacher Wellbeing by Suzanne Allies. And you'll actually be able to train it to know what was important about that book for you. And then those quotes might be there ready for you to embed into your PowerPoint when you do that whole school training on wellbeing. I've had a little look and it doesn't seem that any tool has actually embedded this kind of AI into personal knowledge management yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like Notion or GoodNotes or any of these companies actually come out with an AI question and answer tool for searching through your notes soon. Of course, there'd be a worry that people would just fire in whole books and expect it to give interesting and useful contextual answers every single time. But 
it will certainly be a case that if you put more effort into training the AI chatbot, that it will give you more specific and more useful answers to your context. And that's a useful thing. It's a little bit like using Xtiles as my personal management, management system, or searching for your annotations in a books device, or using the popular highlights function in Kindle. There's already these things that exist, but, but just having that robot to actually digest them and use them as answers to your specific questions whenever you need them. And if you train the chatbot to recognize your important bits by highlighting bits in text, and alongside those highlights, you've actually made some interesting annotations about actually using it in your context, then the AI chatbot will learn those too and will give you really specific answers. This kind of thing is just a short distance away now. It's going to be amazing, the future of personal knowledge management. And that's what this is. It isn't replacing us. It's the future of managing our human knowledge.